So overall energy, King of Pentacles. Previous, Ten of Swords. Current, the High Priestess. And the future, Eight of Swords. Hmm. So King of Pentacles. So this person, they are very playful, but they are very stable. Like they, they don't play around as far as their stability goes. They may play around in the bedroom, but they don't play around in their foundation. So all of your fears about them just being after your stability, it should be squelched. Now with the past Ten of Swords energy, I kind of feel like You brought up a lot of inner child wounding, a lot of pain for them because they kind of came at you and you were like, oh, but wait, I'm not quite there yet. And you pulled a, or a runner's move and you kind of left them hanging. It's kind of like, you know, they text you and either you don't text back or you just text with a K. What's that? What's this K? What does K mean? Who is K? Some sort of strange alien creature? Like, we don't know. Current energy, they're being very intuitive about this. And they're being a little bit, they're holding back their emotions some. They're being deceptive on that count because they truly still care a lot about you, but they don't want to go back into this feeling of just being pulled down, like drowning in you. Now, if you don't start communicating, it's going to pull them in the future into this Eight of Swords, where they're going to feel bound. I mean, they'll still feel bound to you, but they're going to be in so much pain because they do not know how you feel. And that's a sucky, sucky place to put someone in. You know, I mean, you can tell someone, I'm doing great. Yeah, I'm so happy. And totally sidestep all of their feelings and totally sidestep even telling them that they have any sort of space in your life and that's very hurtful so don't try let's try not to go there leo so let's uh check out and clarify this king of pentacles because your person is they're pretty awesome and stable so we get two of pentacles knight of wands Eight of Wands. So your person, their their playfulness is meant to remove the obstacles that you're feeling so that you do open up to them. I mean, everyone likes to have playful energy in their relationship because it makes the world happier, right? And with the uh, Two of Pentacles, I feel like this is one of those definite infinite relationships so whether you have gone through lifetimes together of seeking each other out and finding each other um, it is one of those relationships which is why you felt so connected to it right quickly when it sparked let's clarify this sad past ten of swords This puddle. Queen of Pentacles, Princess of Swords, and Four of Wands. So, Leo, you were offering what felt like a foundation, and you were starting to open up to some of what you had gone through. And your person, your person was like, I am birthing this 
whole new amazing wonderful relationship this great future so you turning it all off you know no wonder they you know are just drowning in it so now they've gone inward they're trying to intuitively figure out what's going on with you they're being just kind of dandy on paper but deep inside they're like not gonna tell you but i'm really thinking because you're just gonna screw me over so let's clarify this deal for your person Seven of Wands, Five of Swords, King of Cups. So they, they have so much love for you. And they truly believe that you have so much love for them. But they feel a fight to get you. And they feel like it's going to cause conflict. And it's going to cause more pain. But, you know, if you look at this King of Cups energy, that they they see your potential. That, you know, it's like, I'm the champion. We've done this. We are together. Like, they can, in, in their intuitiveness, they see that. They see what this could be. They already understand that this is an infinite lifetimes relationship. But they don't think that you do. So let's clarify this Eight of Swords. So Ten of Cups, the Hierophant, Queen of Swords. So you're their wish fulfilled and they want to be with you forever. And you're still going, stop. Excuse me, I may have to fight in just a minute. Stop fighting. Wish fulfilled. Lifetime commitment. Leo. kind of feel like, you know, you need to be a little more honest about how <laughs> that card's like, I'm not going into that stack. And it doesn't even want to, I mean, look at that. It doesn't even want to do it that way. Okay. What do you want to do cards? Okay. I'll do it your way. I will. I'll do it your way. All right. So let's clarify this Eight of Wands, which already came out with Ace of Swords. They feel like by being intuitive, they are being able to remove those obstacles because they they like they're they're ready they're ready i feel like you want a family and they are ready to be that family they're ready to do that they're ready to be all of that they're just fearful this is going to be a very long road like maybe you've talked about because of your past relationship, you don't want kids. Um, maybe you already had kids and you don't want more kids. Um, because it was just heartbreaking to now have to split your kids between two households. Or maybe you had a hard childhood and you don't, you know. Or maybe it's just that you were so hurt that you're like, hmm, I don't want to make someone my whole world. Let's clarify now that I see that, I want to clarify this Queen of Pentacles in your most recent past. Judgment. 
temperance the full. So there's a possibility that whatever happened with you two in the beginning, there may have been a pregnancy out of that. And I don't like to do, you know, male, female. I don't like to do gender roles. But, you know, I have two angel cards on a rebirth queen. Because of this jumping in like a fool. And you can see that the fool is like, was like, I'll give this up for you. And it could be reversed. I mean, it could be that your person is a male and you weren't ready for more kids. And so you didn't go through with it. And they felt so hurt. Like maybe that was their dream. So let's clarify this uh, Five of Swords. I mean, it could just be that they were letting go of this belief of ever having children with you, which was, which really hurt them. It doesn't have to be that there was actually a child that was let go of naturally or unnaturally. The sun, queen of wands, two of cups. So yeah, so this person sees you like you're their everything. They know that this is a once in a lifetime for you, it's a twice in a lifetime, but for them, it's a once in a lifetime relationship, but they're really afraid because you're not coming through. So let's clarify seven of wands as well. Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, High Priestess. So they think, I mean, you can see all of this is you walking away. They think you're going to walk away. That's why they, they're intuitively trying to stop that fight because they don't want you to leave this brilliant love behind and take all this future with you. Let's clarify Queen of Swords. Three of Wands. The Moon. The Hermit. So they're feeling very isolated and left out of your thought process. And yet they are still so passionate about you that they're ready to just go through this journey of whatever it is, whatever it's going to be. Because you are their everything. And they're willing. They're willing to, if there's no children, they're willing to do that. But I just feel like that's just fear. I feel like that's fear on your part. So let's clarify messages for your person from the universe on how they are really feeling about all of this. Eight of Cups, the Fool, and Temperance. So they're ready to jump into the unknown even if you may not fill all their cups because they love you so much they're ready to just dive into it 
they feel like the good will outweigh the bad once you're together. And I believe that's true. I believe that you do still have a little bit of work to do on yourself, but I believe that that is true. And I believe that if you give this a chance and you do the work, that the combination is that it's going to get you to that space where you're going to have that whole family that you were seeing and everything. I mean, even if you had children from a past relationship, I believe that this person is going to nurture them and love them as if they're their own, which may open you up to the possibility of, yeah, let's, let's enrich our family. So I hope this helps Leo and I will see you next time.